Mwenna, you're all welcome. Nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. For those of you who are joining subscribers. Mwe, for those of you who are new, guys, I have really, I'm enjoying speaking in Uganda these days. I think I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm getting homesick, but I can speak Luganda to myself, Nzenzeka, like, you know, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you so much guys for coming back to my YouTube channel, uh, my name is Priscilla, if you're seeing my face, my awesome, beautiful face, for the first time, I make YouTube videos about career, travel, lifestyle, and anything in between, anything that I feel like talking about, I am an enthusiast for fashion, an enthusiast uh, I enjoy Instagram I love YouTube yeah so if you don't follow me on Instagram please go check me out on Instagram I post a lot of my stories and once in a while post some reels if time allows but also guys first clap hmm? first clap my hair like do you guys see my piggy tails with my four locks I think I think they look nice I think this one should have looked a bit different now yet it will be fine today I have come to talk about to share my bag collection in, you know, it's amazing that I was thinking of doing this video, then I soon as he did it, I was like, yay! So I'll just say, inspired. And uh, yeah, like I saw one of my fave Nelly did one, um, you know, Nyonyozi has also done one. So it's, a, it's an amazing YouTube chat. So yeah, I, I, chale I want to I challenge Maya to show us her bags. I miss you, Maya, on, the, on, on these YouTube streets. I hope you come back very soon. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you my, my, well, my YouTube. Who did I? Oh, this bag. My bags. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my bags, and not so much in, the, in any order. I will just start with whatever is close to me, and I'll explain. I'll explain and talk about it, and also I'll just uh, maybe touch touch on. Maybe maybe it should be another video. I guess it should be another. Let me know if you're interested in finding out how to start a bag collection uh, that is practical, that is serves your interests, and it's also within your lifestyle. As like fills your lifestyle so yeah my I'll give you a background my lifestyle I work a nine-to-five and I'm a creative also I have an over creative my, my my brain is extremely active in fact there's a collaboration of a product that's coming out very soon so guys watch out for that please please I'll soon be launching it and when I do please support guys support 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 so yeah I love I, I'm explore I enjoy exploring my creative side but also a nine to five my lawyer so my so my bugs will reflect that I love dining out I love travel so you'll see a bit you'll see bugs that serve me in that line so I'll start with this one I also love luxury and designer bags but mostly secondhand designer bags because they're much more affordable so this is my first bag this is um, I got this bag from Fashion File. Uh, it's a Versace uh, and it's a clutch. It's uh, a crossbody. It's, and it's like this. I like this bag very, very much. It's a clasp. You open it like, like this and then, uh, yeah, so inside, you can see it's used. I almost use all my bags. And inside it has, I have, a review, I have an unboxing on my channel one of my earlier videos where i unbox this it inside it has a medusa a medusa head so if you want to see the details on this bag you can go check out that unboxing i'll try to see if i can link it in my description box so yeah so this i like this bag it's patent it's old it's as i bought it from fashion file fashion file is a second hand uh luxury designer handbag and stuff like you buy you can make luxury designer stuff off the website so I got this bag and I usually carry this bag when I'm going out like you know for party for drinks for dinner it's very simple very nice but also very elegant and very classy so it really serves me and it's patent and I like it's understated unless you're close by you can't know it's Versace so it's only when you get close to me and like you look at the bag that you can know so I don't in, in the night I don't like carrying designer bags that are to designer because you never know people may mug you for like you know I've had stories of folk carrying like LV and uh, Gucci and stuff and then people have like, robbed them because they think it's you know stuff they have money so I don't want to be robbed right <laughs> so that's my first bag and then I have my second one this is my Bottega inspired bag I got this from Mango I yeah so guys there's a difference between in designer inspired inspiration and, and uh, replicas and dupes. 
I don't have any rep designer replicas because I, I like I like to support and honor that creativity and the art that goes behind the designer bags. However, I don't mind having an insp inspired bag or a dupe. A dupe doesn't copy, copy doesn't copy direct. So it's, you know, like when you see this, you can tell it's on Bottega, but you can know it's Bottega inspired. Those are two different things. So if you're like me and you don't want to have a replica. You can always get a dupe. A dupe is something inspired by the designer. So this is a this is a Bottega inspired uh, bag, a clutch. I like it. I got it from Mango. It's it has this magnetic clasp here. So it's I've carried this. Honestly, I'm disappointed with myself. I bought this bag thinking I would carry it a lot because it's huge. It's a clutch. I thought maybe when I'm going out, but for one reason or another, I don't quite reach for this a lot. I don't know why. So I guess I need to use this a bit more and uh, maybe when I'm branching, I don't know because I think even my camera can fit, but I've been super, I don't know why I've not been reaching for it a lot. So I think I'll use this some more. And then uh, this is a funny pack. Um, I, I have had this since 2018. This is just my jogging funny pack when I'm going out to jog or if I'm going to like a carnival or something. I don't want to carry my one of my nice bags. I just carry this. But I usually use this for jogging, walking to the beach and just exercising. Yeah, because it, it's, you know, it carries my phone and my headset and stuff like that. And uh, then next is, I love this bag. This was my first designer was it? Yeah, it was my first designer bag. It's not a high-end designer, but it is, you know, I had always wanted a long champ. Uh, if, you're in, if you're into your designer bags, you know, long champ pliage. It's a long champ pliage. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It fits up. It fits over the whole screen. But it's nice, and I like the fact that it's foldable, so you can fold it and travel with it. It has this thing behind there, so you can fold it and it does this so yeah it's huge water resistant you can wash it it's like it's like canvas of sorts it's such a beautiful um very multi-purpose bag it can go with you to the office trap it's my travel bag everywhere i've gone I've, I've taken this bag it's easy if you swatched my gambia what i wore in the gambia i had i carried this bag because it works well in the heat it works well in the in the rain all multi-purpose so yeah I, and I, I got this this was one of my first bags i've had it for almost like i think three years now it's, it's a beautiful bag and uh, then i'll go oh this is one of actually this is i think my oldest bag among all the bags that i have now that i currently have i don't keep my i can give my bags away or sell them or this bag guys is so special that's why i've not been able to do anything with it this is my charles and keith this bag is so ah, oh, it's 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 so special. This is one of my first. I don't know if Charles and Keith you would call it Charles and Keith designer, but uh, what yeah, like it's one of my first well-made bags. I have a friend Zia. <laughs> if she watches this video, she's she's gonna she's she, she's gonna snob the Charles and Keith. She says Charles and Keith bags are made out of paper, something like that. She does she does not appreciate the workmanship of Charles and Keith. I don't mind. I love Charles and Keith. I have amazing stuff from Charles and Keith. Like I have nice mules from Charles and Keith. This is my first ever bag from Charles and Keith. I bought it in twenty, I think, eighteen, and I remember I got oh. I remember the process. It's so beautiful. It even has some. Um, oh, I carried this. I carried this in Ghana. It has some pictures of me uh, in Ghana in Accra. Oh, this is so. Did that happen to you guys when you go through your bag and it just brings back fond memories? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like this. It's black. It 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 has. Um, it's a nice clutch. I don't carry it much. But I just can't bring myself to giving it away because it's still, it's very sentimental to me, you know. I, this bag, I have a very, very close friend of mine in, in, in Durban. This bag rocked Durban. Ma, ma, ma. Like if bags could talk. <laughs> if bags could talk, this bag could talk. Oh, it's so... Mm, fond memories. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love this bag. I love this bag. I love this bag. Then my other one is you guys have seen me carry this a lot so this is my fendi my fendi bag and uh, i got this from fashion file also it's just a uh, back like an empty hole inside with just you know it's like 
I think they call them cigarette, the tobaccos, tobacco bags, the fancy tobaccos. They, this is so nice. It's so versatile. It's so easy to carry, easy to style. Very, it was affordable. Like it was three hundred dollars, I think, from Fashion File. And uh, like I've had it. It's easy to wash. In fact, there was a more, there was a time because it's canvas. Inside, inside it's like cloth, but washable cloth. Sorry, see <laughs> my lip, my lip gloss, and it's, I use most of my bags. So I remember there was a time when chocolate melted in this bag, and I was able to wash it, and it became clean. So it's very, I like Fendi bags. I really, really like them. And on my list, there is the Fendi, this other one that oh, I forget the name, but now I'm craving and lasting after that bag. It's 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 so beautiful, but it's so expensive. Like. Ah! Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't. Then I have this, uh, oh, you guys, so if you've watched my, as an unboxing video where I talk, I show this back. This is my snake print, snake, actually, actual snake skin. I got this from the market here in Dakar. There's a market called Sumbe Dune. If you ever visit, please visit Sumbe Dune. They sell amazing stuff. So this is 100% snake, real snake skin. And uh, yeah, I, why I bought this bag, it, it, this bag for me is a dupe of the Gucci uh, ja, 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 Jackie O, I think. There's a Gucci Jackie O bag, that look, a hobo bag that looks like this. And I, I like that bag, but I just don't like Gucci. Like I promised myself I'll never ever own anything Gucci. And maybe I may change because I like this bag. It's so professional. It's so practical as what I'm looking for professional it's so practical it's easy to use it goes with anything and it's just I like that it's handmade by artisans in Senegal from the market here so yeah that's my other bag another bag that I bought from the market in Senegal is this this is a bucket bag I bought this bag simply because of the print I am not so much of a bucket bag person I honestly find bucket bags difficult to carry seriously difficult to carry because I'm like a bucket bag and also maybe because my maybe you have to really be very casual to carry them and I wear lots of dresses so I feel like they don't match my style but I had to get this bag for the purposes of the fact that it is in Bogola and if you know me you know I like Bogola so I wanted to get this so I have carried this once I should actually carry it tomorrow maybe more without the cross because it has this crossbody strap but I feel like I think I carry it more like this it gives me a more ladylike, elegant sort of vibe, which is more me, you know. I'm not, so, I don't carry my bags crossbody often, except a few once in a while. But most times I carry them top handle. So, yeah, I like this bag, and uh, I think I will try to use this more. Actually, I don't use it as much as I would have loved to. And uh, another bag, hey, <laughs> yeah, the market, guys. Another bag that this is crocodile skin. I love this bag. Some of you are going to come in the comments and say that's a grandma bag. Please, I am warning you right now. Anyway, no, Bambi, comment what you want. But if you don't be mean, this is my lovely bag. I like it. One, two, three. Are you guys ready for my grandma bag? Ta -da! <laughs> See, if I know it looks like a grandma bag, right? It looks like a bag that your judge would carry or your elderly mother. But I love this bag so much. This is a hundred percent real crocodile skin. Can you imagine? Like it's made by it's made by artisans here in Senegal, and uh, it's, it's so well done. So the guy who the, the person who I bought it from just told me, took me through the process and I, I I watched him refine it and make another bag similar to this for another client. So yeah, like it was it's an amazing experience being in Sumbe Dune and just seeing how these bags are being made like handmade. So yeah, I like this. I carry it a lot uh, when I'm wearing like nice dress and what. Yeah, it doesn't carry much. I think that's the only downside to it. So, yeah, I think if you have bags like this, and this reminds me of my Fendi, you know. They have sort of have a similar style, you can see. And if you see, you can see a pattern. I love browns. Yeah, you see? Browns and blacks. Um, I actually, I have a one colored bag, and honestly, I don't even carry it that much. One, because I find that colored bags are very delicate. Let me show you. So I have this bag. This is from a brand called Lean in uh, Sata. It's a, it's a Thai brand is such a beautiful bag it i brought this bag because 
if you're into designer you know you already can know what this bag is a dupe for this bag is a dupe for the chanel uh, topando bag chanel has a bag which has chanel here and then it's a topando that bag costs for five thousand us dollars <laughs> yes there's people who can afford those bags very many but that is not me okay so since i can't afford the chanel the chanel bag yet mark my word yet one day one fine day so for now i will carry this i like this bag x the diff the, the problem with this bag is it's very light in color and can it transfers color transfers so if you're wearing like jeans it will go and i think that's something you should watch out for if you have such light colored bags uh, sometimes when you're wearing jeans the, the color transfers on them so color transfer they had a green I was wearing a green scarf when i said when i wore it and color had transferred so i had to clean it and I think you, it's over time it has gone, but I'm very careful. I only carry it when I'm wearing like dresses. So it's a very delicate bag, but I like it. This is how it opens here. Oh, hey, what is it? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it opens like this. And guys, I keep my bags stuffed uh, because I don't want them to lose shape. Uh, it all. So if you can keep keep your bags stuffed, it helps your bags to maintain the shape and not lose shape. So you can see I've had this bag for two years but it's, the shape hasn't it's not lost its shape so yeah because i stuff it and i also keep it in its in its bag um bag 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 is that a thing yeah so that's how i keep my bags then the other so now on to the bigger bags i i love leather bags and i love well-made and handmade stuff i don't mind paying a little bit more for that so this is um a bag that I bought from when I was transiting through Addis. It's cow, it's cow leather. Addis make, in Ethiopia, they make amazing leather products. Amazing, amazing, amazing. If you ever get a chance to go to Ethiopia, please do not, don't miss that opportunity. They make amazing stuff. So I got this, it's 100% leather. It's really, really well made. It's huge, you know. The only problem that you, you don't want to over pack it. It also comes with uh, a small this, like what do they call it, like a pouch, you know. So for me, I bought this bag also simply because it it mirrors, you know what it mirrors, if you already know, ram roll, it mirrors the never full, the Louis Vuitton never full uh, bag. So I have two bags that mirror the LV never full, which I will never own because I don't, I mean, I find, no, it's been overly, the bag, that bag is, no, I will not own it, simply because I have two bags that already look like it. This, this is my other bag that looks like the LV Neverfull, this is my, M, my Michael Kors uh, Curry Airport, I think it's called the Airport bag. Hi, this bag has gone with me. <laughs> I bought this when I was in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, in 2018, eh? 2019 2019 yeah i bought it duty free it was on sale i was like oh, yes michael calls what would i buy it again now maybe but i think i think they're better they're better bags for the same price you know so but i like it it's brown it's canvas it doesn't easily get scratched like it's very durable so if you're in if you're looking for such for such a bag it's this is your bag for you um, wait, I have one more bag that I have. I let my newest addition that you guys saw me unbox recently. This is my L, my Louis Vuitton. I'm um, a BB, uh, yeah, Damia Eben. So this is, you guys, I have a full unboxing on this. So if you want, you can go watch it. But yeah, I've had this bag for a few months and I like it. I use it a lot. This bag was second hand. But as, when you watch the unboxing, you will never believe it. It's, it came with its keys. And yeah, so I know that this bag has been, there's so many replicas of it on the market, but I don't really care. I just love the, the I love the artist, the artistic work of LV. It's amazing. The work, the, 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 the bag is really well made. So yes, I like it. It carries a lot. My camera fits in it. Even when you're going out like on dinner, it, you can really work it out. You can really wear it in very many different ways as crossbody, as top handle. It's a versatile bag. I like that. And then lastly, I have this canvas bag, canvas and leather. This I got from Massimo Duty. Massimo Duty is an Italian, I 
think of Spanish brand. I'm not 100% sure actually. I'll, I'll put I'll put that in the video. Yeah, so I got this from Massimo Duty. I like this because it's also a bucket bag. So when I'm traveling, running, going around, I can just carry this and put my water bottle, my camera, my everything. So if you watch one of my vlogs, uh, my Gory Island vlog, I had this and it really served me very well. I like I like the this the rope like detail you know so yes so guys that does that's my bag collection i it's not huge as i told you i do not uh, keep too many bags i give out my bags often and also i don't buy bags for the sake of buying bags and uh, yeah i buy bags that i can actually wear and actually meet fit into my lifestyle so yeah so thank you so much for watching and if you are youtube and you're watching this please f jump onto the tag show us your bag collection i know so yeah thank you so much for watching bye